restrain my body. The sensation overflows my spirit. It's almost cyber bar time. As the flame begins to burn, I can't help but think of what is to come. It is Friday, and the cyber bar is upon us. As the day grows dark, and the drink becomes impatient, a realization overcomes me. It's almost cyber bar time. So won't you just stay here? That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah, you have Hulu. Yeah. Do, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, you I can... just, I'm not, I just, Olympics are like, yeah, whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's cool see, when you I, catch it. Like, I think but... I go nuts for the Olympics just because I'm, I'm in fact, uh, I, I really, I, I have a lot of, uh, I love the idea that like you get to become so good in your particular field that now you have to go versus like the best of every country like that's kind of a big yeah. deal yeah you know i mean like and and of course i'm i i you know i automatically revert to uh kurt angle winning his uh his gold medal in wrestling uh on a broken freaking neck uh so so that's cool but you know ronda rousey and her gold medal for judo and uh other stuff i'm sure is good i don't uh oh hang on do I have my soundboard up? Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Yeah, uh, so Olympics, I, I like them. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool. I mean, I mean like, it was, basketball. There's been a lot of cool yeah. moments, like, watching Michael Phelps, and yeah, like, yep. the Dream Team, and, yep. you know, a lot of cool shit, but. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think kind of everybody feels the same way that you do, John. I hear a lot of, uh, not, not poo-poo, per se, but uh, 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 I hear, uh, you know, Olympics, man. It, it used to be more back before the day of, of like streaming services because you'd just be like watching TV and you'd flip through and you'd catch it and it would draw oh, your interest. Yeah. So like if you have cable, then yeah, you probably still watch it. But or like you know you'll see fucking clippets on the news of like something special that happened and you'll be like, oh, I'll tune into that tomorrow or whatever. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds, but, yeah, I, I don't know. No, I think you're right. Uh, Omaha to Minneapolis. I don't know what the fuck. Is that just how big the thing is? No, never mind. It's a, it's a news commercial. Never mind. I'm, I'm watching this wrong. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on to everybody's favorite party on the internet. It's a cyber bar. Uh, John Dole, I think I see somebody coming to my door. Can you go ahead and get that, please? Good evening to you, bastards. Oh, it's John! Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. You want to go where everybody knows your name. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next to the sidebar, New York Times bestselling author of the book Biggest Dickus. It's John, everybody. <laughs> Uh, John, how the hell have you been? How's your week been? Oh, that was all the Olympics had. Huh? Good, oh. good. Okay. Uh, uh, so money's been treating you good? You didn't have, like, too busy of a week? Yeah, I mean, it was fucking hot out there today. It's oh, like of course. Degrees. It's been hazy as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, did, how, did, how, do you, how do you feel about that? Uh, all these uh, all these wildfires everywhere uh, uh, causing our our sun to get all red or our moon to be all red. How wild of a situation are we are we looking at? How long? How much longer do you think we got on this world? <laughs> You're silly, man. I'm just saying, uh, man. Yeah, shit. It, it's climate change, it's huh? Crazy. Yeah, with the smokiness and the low air quality and the 
big ass drought so like there's like water getting cut off everywhere people can't use it yeah i heard i heard that it's always were, one thing after another, bill or something like that that's wild yeah well yeah the drought there's an actual drought and then there's like obviously a fire warning and there, there's obviously fires yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know they're <clears throat> encouraging people not to use water but you still see fucking the rich fucks out there you know Water in their lawn, lawn all over the place. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fucking shit. <laughs> God forbid. God forbid our lawn doesn't look great, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking wild to me. Uh uh, I can't even believe that we're I mean, who knew? I mean, I guess everybody else knew. Uh Al Gore specifically, but I, <laughs> I mean I didn't think it was going to be so so early that we start seeing these uh these things. I also didn't realize that like Really, all the way from Canada, and like, yeah, it's it's and, it, and it just, I mean, yeah, it just circles obvious. down. That's that's fucked. That's <laughs> that's dogs living together, total mass hysteria, <laughs> wildfires, and droughts, and yeah. fucking collapsing that is pretty wild. infrastructure all over yeah. the place. And fucking yeah, there's a, pandemic. a yeah, yeah, the pandemic that they no gone and, deal, and wiped out like pretty much all of the firstborn of Egypt. It's really wild, man. <laughs> you know, I was yeah, discussing the ridiculous. I was discussing the Bible with Stan earlier. Uh 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 because we were talking about uh 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 oh man how do you got it how do you how do you keep it was Job I think we were talking about and I just didn't get it. I mean, why would, I mean, if God's just crushing you down, uh, I find it hard to just be uplifted by that same deity. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's a bit fucked. Yeah, that's, that's religion in a nutshell, basically. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you, you, you're familiar with the, with the story of Job, yes? Yeah. Got, yeah, got. all right. <laughs> Gob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, hey, John Cena's on SmackDown. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Would you ever like to meet John Cena? I mean, he's a pretty pretty nice guy, but... He seems like I a pretty really, nice guy. I don't know. I don't really care. I've seen him like do some pretty cool shit for, you know, people, so that's cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. He he does all that make a wish stuff, and yeah, I think that like you know, being shit, being cool. being cool to kids is is fucking cool, man. That's a that's a good look in general. That you know, I I don't care who you are. That's that's good look right there. The optics on this look awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we're gonna put the tiger on the table and yell at it, I think uh, I think that deep down, I think John Cena's probably got some uh, 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 attitude issues. Uh, uh, if you, if you get him, you know, outside of his work, he probably, uh, he's probably snippy, yeah. but, uh, but other than that, John, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like you are on the right track. I feel like Cena could probably be somebody you grab a beer with. Not that he'd grab a beer, but if he did, he'd probably be like cool about it. He'd definitely toss the pigskin yeah. around with you. And I know that you, that you appreciate the pigskin. So, <laughs> Right, like until he got, until he got drunk, you know. Yeah, and then he gets all, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably turns into the uh, the the role that he did in that Amy Schumer movie. <laughs> oh shit that's pretty good i that's laughed funny. a lot at that whole tiktok with the family thing uh that was a lot yeah of fun. that shit was funny as hell yeah 
I was uh, the entire time, especially when it went back and he was talking about the maths, and it's the same fucking joke. So yeah, I'm like, God it's damn, it's not, Family yeah, not it's maths. Family's not always there. Yeah, I laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs and do it on my own. Don't turn your back up. <laughs> He's all crying and stuff. I laugh so fucking hard. You can't just go adding boxes to the thing, man. <laughs> it's so I'm funny. Go ahead and write it. He's, <laughs> <laughs> He's just crying. Oh, fuck, that's good. Uh, have, are you going to go see Fast 9? No. How? What? When? Did, where did you? Okay. I haven't see. seen the Fast in like. I don't even know. Oh, really? Probably like five or six. I don't even know. Really? And that when's was the probably last... just random. Yeah. Is it, when's the last? What's the last? Uh, what's the last I... fast you remember seeing? What? What? When? Do you know, remember like anything three. that happened in those movies? Yeah, I I basically watched like one after Paul died, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, I think everybody watched Too Fast, Too Furious. I think uh, I, I think everybody got pretty down with yeah. that idea. Uh, yeah. uh, um. Uh, you know, and then of course there's, uh, 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 shit. I forgot what I was gonna say. Fuck. I think the only people who watch it now are like Asians and Mexicans and blacks who like like cars or just the fact that. Well, now like hang on, because the, the Rock and John the Cena are in these movies, so I mean, there, there's plenty of white people lining up to see these movies. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. So. You don't think so, huh? You think Cena and Vin Diesel only draw one specific crowd, eh? Yeah. I don't yeah, know, man. Yeah. I think The Rock is a all-around good time. I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, there might, white redneck, people, there might be plenty of white people. Plenty of white people. Wrestling to. fans going to see, you know, The Rock. Redneck stuff. wrestling fans. <laughs> I mean, that's what yeah, all right. That's all right. Well, come on. Now, not all of us are rednecks. That's <laughs> they're not even red. Redneck is almost a, a a raise up from the wrestling fans. You know, Wale. Like, who, and I, what, what what, isn't that like a hockey term for Canadians? A Hoosier? Yeah. No, I mean it's like a college football team or some shit. Oh, is that right? Hoosier. I thought a Hoosier was like a slang for something. I thought Hoosier's Hoosier like was back, slang for like a more backwards. Shitty you know, hockey redneck. player, huh? No. Okay, so is that why there's they say hoosers all the time? And um, what's it? Uh, hoser. I was gonna say hoser. That's a hoser, not a hoosier. Oh, oh, okay. So then, what's a hoser? That's a Canadian. That's a Canadian. Yeah. That's a Canadian. That's a slur like, right there. All right. Like a shitty <laughs> hockey player, like a guy who. Oh, okay. Oh, off. okay. You're How a fucking you? hoser. Yeah. What was that? But, uh, what was that Rick Moranis movie uh, where he was? Uh, Eleven. Where he was up north and he plays like a Canada guy. Do you know what I'm talking about Who at all? Who the fuck is Rick Moranis? I'm trying to place his face because I know you're Rick Moranis. About... He's uh, he like uh, Zelinsky. No, he's Ray Zelinsky from Honey I Shrunk the Kids. He's uh, oh, he's he's he Seymour from. Movie? I know yeah. uh, he was in a movie with some guy where they play like a couple of Canadians. And they like just drink beer, and I don't really know what the premise of this was. I think it was like an old. Hey, that sounds really weird for Rick. It's Moranis very weird, but it's <laughs> it's very like I have no idea what it's called, uh, I, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of shit for this. Um, I can't even picture him drinking a beer or trying to do a Canadian accent. Really, he's like he's super him. Canadian. Yeah, I think uh, I think him and this other guy were uh, uh, the dad uh, from Honey I Shrunk the Kids, the short yeah, little, the short fuck. little guy, nerdy fuck, yeah. Weird. From Honey Ash, right? The kids. So, uh, Rick Moranis, uh, snow movie. He's like, he's like Wait, if Robin buddy. Williams was this awful. is a certified That's hood Rick Rick strange brew. Never seen it. Never You've heard never it. heard of this movie, huh? All right, give me a moment. I'm gonna drop this, uh, uh, a strange brew, uh, 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 thing in the, in the, uh, let's see, let's copy that image. And let's go ahead and put that image here. And yeah, strange brew. I don't, he's just, he's, he's Canadian. He's drinking beer with this guy. And that's uh, about as already, much as I well, know. How did we get here from hockey? I don't understand. I, th I think, you know what? We were going on the, uh, I was leading further into the Canada trail and it just stayed, it, Boy, it ventured off into this. Really yeah. really 
I mean, but it's Rick Moranis, so let's not start talking shit now. Um, you sound like, like the type of guy. The... Go ahead. 50 cent bin at Walmart. Oh. <laughs> Take it. Literally, we'll give John, you. John, you're breaking coupon. my heart. This is supposed to be a Take pretty, a pretty cult classic comedy for like 80s people. I don't. And and granted, yeah. I don't watch a lot of '80s comedies anymore. But uh, but but yeah, this is supposed to be like right on up there. I don't know. I can't support anything that you you've said in the last. 10 minutes. You're not a big fan of '80s comedy movies, huh? No, no. You're not a. Big... Or am I a big fan of Rick Moranis? Ah. No. <laughs> I know. This Easy. is the oh man, you're you're breaking my heart. How could you not like Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors or Ray Zelinsky from Goddamn Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Honey, I blew up the kids. Honey, I blew up the parents. Or yeah, that was the third it one. I think really wasn't that good of a of a series. He was so. all right. Well, let's really you didn't like the Honey I Shrunk the Kids style series? No. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't like have a lot of fun as a kid, kid, did you? Yeah, like it was fun <laughs> to watch like the first one when you were a stupid little kid. You're like, oh, look, there, there's a big ant. They're there's a small a and they're red and, 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 oh, There's cool. a lot of shit that happens. They almost get killed by a lawnmower of their own father. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. You remember that well, scene yeah, no, where Rick Moranis almost swells up his kids eating the Cheerios? Yeah. That was wild. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about why. Uh, uh, he didn't like when his kid got all giant size and went to go fuck up Las Vegas, huh? No, that was no? real. All thing. right, That's, I thought it was a good move. <laughs> thought it was funny. All right. Well, you didn't like Little Shop of Horrors? Not really. Ah, oh, <laughs> man, breaking, breaking my balls here, John. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're killing me. I, I can't get enough of Audrey too. I think uh, I think that's that's one of the best roles he's ever had. Is is Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors? That was crazy. When well, yeah, he... like when you've only had two roles, obviously it's gonna be okay. One can, of you the not, best can you not? Can you not? Can you not? Because he was also in Spaceballs as as Darth Helm yeah. as Dark yeah, Helmet. See, I he was I very funny. That, that was I, a very I funny movie. Him in that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then there you go. <laughs> Even though he really didn't have to provide any creativity at all he was okay i think he it, it was it was the way he said his lines that was what's yeah. the matter colonel sanders chicken yeah he just i mean he, <laughs> did the part and he did a good job and that's fine so. i thought i thought his cadence was great the whole i knew it i'm surrounded by assholes well, and it's the whole thing i've been making fun of him about is he was perfect for the part because he's a little tiny nerdy fucking <laughs> and all he had to do was be like oh, yeah, yeah they did make fun of him for being short all right yeah, it was <laughs> that's perfect. fair that's he fair well <laughs> it's fucked man but yeah i suppose you like space the rick moranis certainly not why are you <laughs> national treasure rick moranis no of course he's not dead uh, it'd be good if he was stopped you know why he stopped doing movies is because his wife got cancer and so he then started taking care of his wife and kids <laughs> so you know rick moranis a great guy good actor uh, oh my god talking so much fucking shit <laughs> i can't believe you didn't like little shop of horrors oh my god i thought it was highly overrated gina and think, pam Sung the opening theme song for nothing for you. <laughs> that part it seemed like one of those. It seemed like one of those movies where like those people who like, you know, the, you know, the people with like the gauge earrings or like the 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 wind around spike ones and like uh -huh, they have uh -huh. the tattoos and they dye their hair and uh -huh. kind of like your people, like theater people. Okay, or, like, well that's all right. Now hang on. Somewhat, Okay, yes, so Steve does go to the Steve does act in the theater, but come on, the rest of them. I, 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 I felt like that came at a time where those people who hadn't really awoken and identified themselves yet could dive into that type of movie. You're really pissing it. me off with this. I can't believe you didn't. 
fucking mad ass shit over some little shop of horrors. Didn't even appreciate Audrey too. I can't even believe it. I think for normal people, it probably just wasn't like. I wonder who did Hopper Shore. Who 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 directed? Hopper Shore. I wonder who did Hopper Shore. I wonder who did Papa Shans. I forgot who did that. That's <laughs> <laughs> who directed Little Shop of Horrors? I'm gonna get it. Frank Oz. Do you remember who Frank Oz is? He's the guy behind the behind the curtain, right? He's the guy behind. <laughs> okay, I see what you did there. I see it. You know what? And I felt because I, I leaned into it. That's fucked. I can't believe you said that. That's that's yeah. goddamn it. Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Oz, you'll know him better as the voice of Fozzie and Rolf from the, the Muppets. Character? Uh, what? <laughs> 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 no, he had a different name. Never mind. He, uh, yeah. he, yeah. He, yeah. He, he brought back all the Muppet stuff. He, Frank Oz sure. gave us uh, uh, the so labyrinth. He's definitely dead. Like, he's oh, he's dead. I, I'm yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. sure he's dead. Yeah. Got it. Time. I hope so. Yeah, he's been dead for like. 50 years. Has he? <laughs> Is Frank? I gotta, gotta imagine. Oh, he's alive. And or frozen. Uh, puppeteer and filmmaker. No, he's still alive. He's very no much still way. alive. Yeah, yeah. How old is he? He's uh, He he's was only like born in the 1960s. Like... No, he was only born in the 60s. So what? You're looking at 40. So he wrote that shit as 50, like 60. Baby. Yeah, basically. Like I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like, you're, then this guy like gave us everything. He was the voice of Yoda in Empire Strikes Back. He did Animal, Sam Eagle, Miss Piggy, and Fozzie as the great as the Muppets. Uh, in Superman three, he was in that. He was Agora in remember, in Dark remember Crystal. Remember when people used to be able to do more than just like one fucking thing? That was so cool. That's true. Yeah, you that was like two <laughs> actors, and they could do like fucking seven characters, and you were like, that was Damn. pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, he's actually been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, Monsters Inc. He was in. Huh. That's wild. Uh, he was in the Last Jedi, huh? Oh, okay. He was in Knives Out too, huh? Huh. Oh, wow. That's weird. That's wild. I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't realize that. That's kind of cool. There you go. Little Shop of Horrors uh, in 1986. Yeah. All right. That that tracks. You don't. You don't really like the uh, the 80s. Uh, uh, in in regards to movies, so oh, he's also Shows in a little bit, but not movies really. He also did Death at a Funeral and Bowfinger. You remember Bowfinger with the? Um, yeah, so he yeah. was in. He did fucking every. He has fingers yeah. in everything. Yeah. Oh my god, he did. He directed the Indian in the cupboard. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> huh. That's really cool. Uh. Uh, not to get just wrapped up in a Frank Oz. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Now, nah. I just saw a commercial uh, saying, hey, if you do a Fox9.com email thing, you could win tickets uh, to SmackDown uh, in Minneapolis. And you were and, like, oh, I mean, I, I wish my uh, for whatever you want. <laughs> you know, the, the, the new goal is to go to Raw. Uh, cause I've been to SmackDown vis-a-vis -vis Brian and I've been to uh, a pay-per-view tables, ladders, and chairs. That was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, and I have yet to go to raw. So I think that's going to be my, if I can, who knows? Cause like they all, they go to Chicago with, with Monday night raw. So who knows? Maybe I'll take a six hour car ride with Evan to go, to go see some wrestling. So. Yeah, I don't think get murdered is the right. There's plenty of <laughs> to shy town what are you talking about chicago is ghetto as fuck i don't know man maybe some places but i'm sure it, just like everywhere everybody's got their own touristy place so like in st louis which is at, you know equally as terrible as chicago uh -huh. if you try to go downtown after dark you will get stabbed and robbed almost no matter what guaranteed why in the world why would you say something like this this seems this, really fucked. this is a fact this really? Is it is the I don't know, capital man. of the world. Yeah. <laughs> I think last year there was something like 273 stabbings at the arch, like during the day in broad daylight, just like 
you know, no, no fear. Just no one cares. And the cops do not, they don't even try to fight them off. Like we literally pull, I told you like me and Christina a long time ago, the first time we went to St. Louis, we pulled off downtown, not even like a bad exit, not even like a bad area to get gas. And we were, I, I mean, we drove for probably like five minutes in this terrible neighborhood and it was all black people. And when I say all black people, I'm not exaggerating. There was not one, there wasn't a Muslim, there wasn't an Asian, there wasn't a Hispanic. I mean, it was all black people. <laughs> I, stopped, I stopped at a four-way stop and this dude looked at me like he was going to eat my fucking face. Like he was so <laughs> mad, so fucking mad that I was there. He was just enraged. You, you got robbed when you went to St. Louis? No. Oh. But, I, but we didn't stop and get gas at that particular That's spot. Not- <laughs> I got off and I got right back on. I was like, the I fuck don't out know. Of here. I feel like if I go to wait, Chicago is in Illinois. Uh, if I go to the uh, uh, downtown, Ch- all right, well, maybe not. All right. I've really got to uh, uh, choose my sentencing correctly here. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that I'm going to have a problem going downtown Chicago during the day. I think you you say that, but. <laughs> You also look at the world in a very cynical way. So I don't know what to... I mean, there, is, there is like, you know, Chicago is known for like it's shopping and shit too. So like mm-hmm. there is a few areas where, you know, you can go and you're allowed See, to go. I know, I know Chicago as the Windy City and uh, one of the staples of wrestling. It's like there's, there's only a couple pa- places in the Midwest where you can go uh, uh, to big wrestling towns and like or big wrestling states rather and chicago is one of them uh uh, minnesota is also one of them we have like wrestling schools here all over the place but like chicago was also uh very well known for that so they have like so that's why i'm going because i get to go to pro wrestling tea store uh um and they've got like a very rich you know i want to i want to go have a chicago dog and i want to go have a deep dish pizza and i want to go see the, the history museum and the art and the uh yeah. the art museum I mean, if shit, you so. start if you start at like you know 9 a.m and then you know get back to your hotel by like two o'clock in the afternoon you should be uh-huh. good to go <laughs> <laughs> this window of time that you've given me i just don't <laughs> i don't think that <laughs> honey it's getting one what 50 we gotta go <laughs> <laughs> don't take Just, any cabs. Don't bum any cigarettes. Don't respond I, to anyone who, who says, am I? This is, buy drugs. It's I will trick. not be. They I don't want to sell you drugs. They don't actually have drugs. It's the, to rob chi- you. Chicago has <laughs> legal marijuana in there now, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, <laughs> and bumming cigarettes. Who the fuck am I? <laughs> uh, plus, like, we're going with Evan. So like that I I just nothing. It means something. I'm going knows, with somebody who knows who where go, knows yeah. where to go. Yes, right. he's not going yeah. to lead me to some dark tunnel where where my 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 wife can get uh, uh, taken advantage of. Okay, he probably I think will, I don't I I do don't that. I just don't think that that's gonna be. I, I think movie, have you ever seen that movie where Kevin Hart? Uh, yeah, Get Hard, where Kevin Hart takes Will Ferrell. To the to unknowingly to the hood with Ti and yeah, yeah yeah then they end up adopting Will Ferrell playfully and yeah yeah, yeah. comes one of them yeah it doesn't work like that I don't okay? know I feel like it's I've been to a couple of bars and that's that. exactly how it's worked out I don't know <laughs> I was with I was at a bar one time with a with a really white tall friend of mine uh, and and there was a group of black bikers that showed up. Uh, not like uh, Harley Davidson riders, but more like Goldwing riders and stuff like that. Big boys. And uh, and uh, after a while of just kind of round of drinks here and there, we started getting very friendly with uh, with these people. And uh, and my drunk, white, tall friend had either said something or gotten a little too close to one of them. And this guy shot up and it basically like you know grabbed his shirt and pulled him in real close and this guy's like a he's a tall dude but he's he's a frail thing he's not he's not going to be yeah. beating up anybody yeah, he's a nobody you know and and i had to quickly step in 
uh, uh, and say like, whoa, 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 he's all right. He's all right. He's with me. You know, don't, don't worry about him. I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's just a drunkard. And yeah, I don't know, John, they seem to just adopt me as one of their own, buying me drinks and uh, laughing with me. I had a really good time. <laughs> now, granted, this is down in the middle of some hole in the wall bar in St. Paul, but like, I feel like it could work everywhere. If, I've heard some real fucked up stories about St. Paul and Minneapolis, and I have yet to, to see them come to fruition, is all I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> I think everywhere's got their yeah. shitty place, but I mean, like, if, as long as you stay in the touristy area, I think you should be fine. Mind your P's and Q's. What are you doing? It's, you know. Yeah, yeah, don't step out of bounds. That's don't step good. out of bounds, and you're good. Just, you know, <laughs> be a nice, respectable white guy, and you should be all right. You know what I'm saying? It's, well, maybe yeah. not. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Depends on where you are. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> After I said it, I went, oh, wait a minute. Hey, that was like that part, yeah, yeah. Back up, back up. That was like that part in Get Hard where they were going to like definitely kill him. But then he like showed him how to make money in the stock market. And then they were like, oh, OK, well, maybe you're worth something. And yeah, you don't yeah. Have to necessarily <laughs> tell you. So. It was a uh, that was a pretty good movie, actually. It's, yeah, now that it I think really about it, I should, I should rewatch that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love when really? he does the drill, the drill on him, like the jailhouse drill and like his Mexican house cleaner and stuff. And they throw the chick <laughs> in and he gets stabbed. And, uh, <laughs> that was a pretty good time. Ah, uh, shit. Well, uh, so what else has been going on with you other than uh, work being good and, and money being good? How much is trying to get into this house and out of the old house by the end of the month and See if you, any security deposit will be left over, which I'm sure it won't. But. Probably not. They uh, they usually. Oh, hey, fuck there's you, a yeah, they, yeah. There's a stain somewhere no where you can't find. Yeah. Here you go. Let me take all of it. Yeah. This tiny. The the fact that this one blind is broken is going to cost you a thousand dollars. What? <laughs> That's not. That's not all right. Uh, dream time, everybody. understand why everyone all week wants to be in here talking shit about cyberbar and no one wants to show up you got fucking yeah no nick josh shockey fucking everybody wins cyberbar wins cyberbar and I'm then totally all of a sudden i'm totally no gonna be in there and not shows. one fucking person shows up yeah this is cyberbar is like i love cyberbar i think cyberbar is great nobody well, like, else gives a shit about the cyberbar yeah, well, it's not. It's just like I don't have a problem with you not showing up, but then shut the fuck up talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't be it. That's like me being like, oh, hey, what about Cyber? What about Cyber? What about Cyber? And then just not fucking showing up at all. <laughs> yeah, man. It's uh, up at. Hang on. All right. I'm definitely gonna smoke tonight, so I guess uh, smoke, everybody. I'm gonna go grab another shot real quick. Hold on to your britches. You got it. <gasps> Rap a I'm Bonnie Vera, late night driving to Holding on to moments as he Even when sun goes down Cena, 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 Cena. I came to see John Cena. If 
fucking love Cena. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, check it, check it. Time, everyone. That's two and 105 <laughs> and 110. 1,115. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love when John Cena speaks because the whole world decides to listen. Uh, He's awesome, but man, he is a dumb son of a bitch. For? Just in general, like a jock, like a very, you know, just. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, no, he's not. I'm sure he's a smart guy. I mean, he knows both English and Chinese. So, I mean, like. He knows things, but, yes. And, and yeah, when you so have let's money, not... it gives you time to, you know, learn things you want to learn. And... Oh, absolutely. And with the amount of money that he's given, I'm sure that they just, like, give him whatever he wants. Um, right. And he's had experiences. He's got to go places and meet people and all this shit. That he does good stuff. Makes but, you uh, more intelligent just by doing it. But oh, absolutely. Yeah, he, uh, is, he is somewhat. I would say the same about The Rock. Honestly, there, you can just hear. I feel like and The feel Rock it. has got a little bit more like. Uh, uh, um, I don't know. There's something about The Rock's charisma that I really to. appreciate. He definitely tries to. I he, think he, he probably has. He like doesn't a come off as jockish as as he definitely is. I mean, yeah, you see I, him; he's always in there working out. He does I nothing think, but work out. I think when he made his first little bit of money, and like became the like sex successful, devil, yeah, yeah, which is really weird. We're talking like he, walking tall, or no? Was it get shorty? I, I can't I remember. Yeah, yeah. Go anyway, it go was right around that time when he first got that first like sexiest man in the world or whatever i think uh, he knew i think that was I, about the time that he did the rundown with jason scott yeah yeah uh, yeah. yeah yeah and chris he Walken. already had he already had like the wrestling whatever fan base like he knew he was gonna did have I say jason people. scott i'm pretty sure jason scott was the red ranger not the guy that was in the rundown with the rock yeah, no, his uh, yeah i'm, I'm, I'm dumb as fuck for minnesota sean william scott yeah i'm fucking dumb as shit sorry go ahead but yeah, I think he didn't. I don't think he really ever expected to be uh, such a symbol for, especially for female, like to have that female following, and like to have kids. Then he got the kids with like Mo Moana or whatever, and then it was just like he ended up getting a lot more fans than I think he ever thought he would. I mean, like he was already pretty up there. Made. Yeah, I mean, like he had he had done. I mean, like by before Moana, you know, was was Moana after Hobbs and Shaw, or was it before? After, yeah, well, before. yeah. Before. I want to say it was before, and that's all I'm saying is like by the time Hobbs and Shaw came out, he was already like pretty well known for being like the Fast and the Furious big guy, you know, uh, opposite Vin Diesel. So I mean, like, because uh, uh, he had done like the Tooth Fairy for Disney. And he had done. Right. Uh, uh, um, but if you think about how obsessed kids were with that fucking movie, there's kids who will just watch it over and over and sing every song. Like too true. His voice God, was too just true. With that Absolutely. Yeah. No. The and fact then, that he got it was was like was awesome for him. Both like to his character because of his whole like oh hey Pacific it, Islander. It, yeah. I mean. Yeah. yeah. So I mean like his whole Hawaiian motif that he like he that, he, job, that he tries really to do he really it. did yeah. yeah i mean i thought it was a great movie but it's a disney movie and like yeah. they literally could have put anybody in there i mean they put yeah. they put a uh, 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 pedophilic ass uh, 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 um, what was that guy that they got to do the voice of ultron i want to say kevin spacey but that's not right oh yeah yeah, yeah. james spader maybe james, i think james Spacey. Yeah, why do I want to combine those names? 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't uh, want to say James Spacey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. James Spacey doesn't sound right. Uh, but yeah. no, so like, so they got that guy uh, to, yeah. to be doing stuff. And like, Disney doesn't make bad movies. I mean, they, they can make shitty movies if they want to. Don't get me wrong. Turner and Hooch is still uh, on Disney+. Plus. But uh, but they've got the I, I mean, animation wise, they usually hit the mark. You know, you've got I, I don't remember seeing a bad Pixar movie. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like and I've tried to rifle off like pretty much all of them. I've enjoyed pretty much all of the Pixar movies. Uh, um, yeah, they're good. There are. I mean, like they're even better. that even Wally that I didn't think I was going to get into, like Wally rocked, man. Like that was a cute movie with like all sorts of and they didn't even need like somebody to talk throughout the movie they just got like some you know bleep bloop uh a uh, uh, robot that's they not doing anything so but many, making like expressions so many hot movies that people don't even recognize amazing movies yeah yeah i mean like for the longest time i had no i i, I had forgotten that nightmare before christmas was even like disney related you know and like Dog, that's like Pixar kind of red like, and their ass, like new generation wise. I mean, Disney's absolutely, still obviously a staple, but I, I, I mean, like you, you when, when you come out with somebody like like Toy Story and Monsters Inc., I mean, like blowing it out of the water, I mean, like, like spectacularly, and then well, like they've had just franchises, and then oh, they do, absolutely, they have like all the all the fucking toys and shit. I mean, like, think about how big like how to train your dragon was and like oh man yeah yeah, yeah. dreamworks is, is fucking uh was taken off with that yeah yeah, yeah absolutely well, that was the other thing too is then when pixar like kind of teamed up with dreamworks it was like okay disney you're fucked like yeah you're, yeah, you're... yeah absolutely yeah uh so. and i mean like and their and their animation studios is being going strong yeah. ryan the last dragon is really good frozen yeah. and frozen 2 were awesome uh uh fucking wreck it ralph oh man that was a cool movie What's that uh, new one with the with the with the fucking the the water kit that I just watched? That was uh, okay. oh Luca, yeah, yeah that yeah. was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was uh, pretty good. I thought that was like that was uh, it was just the animation was adorable. Yeah, it had that 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 cute factor to it. Fun and like it still yeah. they still did a good job with the looks. And yeah, yeah, it, it looked like a very much like an Italian Wallace and Gromit that was just kind of amped up a little bit. Uh, And I just, I found that so fascinating. Uh, Plus like the story itself was very good. And, and, you know, they're always doing that. They're always just like finding crazy ass, like, like brave who I thought it was going to be about a girl who, who goes and fights a bear. I didn't realize that the bear was going to be the mom. And that's a whole nother story in itself. That was fucking wild. It they is, just don't, they just don't do anything wrong and they pump them. They out don't so do anything too. bad. Yeah. They yeah. are just doing so well. I don't know what kind of like, what kind of expensive espresso they have got pumping into the uh, Pixar studios, but All God damn it, shit, I need to I need to get some of that Death Wish coffee because that is exactly what and, what and I need to just, get those creative juices so flowing. You couldn't you couldn't even like think about how many I don't even know how many they're pumping out a year, but it's just like. There's just so fucking many. There's so many. And they're all popular. Like Yeah. And they're all good. And that's that's something. When you're just like knocking them out of the park left and right with every single movie. I mean, like, Warner Brothers doesn't even get that 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 good. And they have like huge shit. I mean, they've got all of DC. They've got all of that Harry Potter. And like every now and again they could come up with some with some shitty shit. But then they turn it right back around and put out like Godzilla versus Kong and fucking like fires it up again. It's like, God damn it. Uh, uh, did you see the new Space Jam? No. That was good. Yeah. Everybody's dissing it, but. Whatever. Everybody's dissing it for what? Yeah. It's obviously not going to be as good as the original. Like, what kind of stupid. I mean, yeah, thing? but that's. Yeah. But. So that's. <laughs> I'm still a fan of Looney Tunes, uh, and the, you know, I think that that that's the appeal right there. The Looney Tunes are doing the heavy lifting in this. Not that LeBron yeah. isn't a good actor, but that, I mean, well, like LeBron got a lot of shit. 
because yeah he i mean he doesn't he doesn't really do anything in the movie but like right. michael right. jordan didn't really do anything in the, in the first space jam he just showed right. up and played basketball well, he wasn't was really thing, that good of an actor is he had like you know fucking bill murray and yeah, you know, kind of he had heavy hitters. And, the Looney yeah. Tunes were doing the heavy lifting in that yeah. movie. Uh, yeah. And then you had like his backup, Wayne Knight and Bill Murray, to just provide all this comedy. Uh, yeah. And and that was great. Plus you had like Danny DeVito as the voice yeah. for like the bad guy. And it's like, yeah. okay, yeah, you're, you're really, you're throwing all the good stuff out there. So like, yeah. even if Michael Jordan just like pissed his pants on stage, it still wouldn't be a bad movie. It still would have been a good movie. Uh, and so and I many fucking animated movies it's blowing my mind right now. Well, you should definitely see Space it. Jam. I feel like because that was another thing is they really Don Cheadle was good. Uh, uh, the the pop. Oh my god! There's one scene where like uh, uh, Don Cheadle invites all of the Warner Brothers universe uh, to come to attend this basketball game, and so you're getting like every single intellectual property from Warner Brothers that's just flooding the screen. You're talking Gremlins. You're talking Hanna-Barbera and all of their stuff. Flintstones, Jetsons, Scooby-Doo, uh, 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 fucking Penelope Pitstop. You're talking all the Harry Potter people that are coming in, flying everywhere on their brooms. Your goddamn Game of Thrones people that are sending dragons and shit everywhere. Uh, not to mention, like, uh, it... All of the DC franchise that is under the Warner Brothers umbrella. So, like, ah, I'm seeing all of Batman's rogue of villains just like lined up watching this fucking basketball game. I'm seeing Danny DeVito from Batman Returns next to Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. It was fucking killer. <laughs> but again, the Looney Tunes. <laughs> The Looney Tunes are doing the heavy lifting uh, in that movie. So, I mean, like, it's... And LeBron, uh, he tries. He does what brought, he's doing. I should have brought Bill back. I should have brought Bill back. I wish, go. you know, for a move, uh, uh, for a minute and a half. There's a, yeah. there's a funny joke in the movie where Sylvester uh, uh, says, Hey, guys, I found Michael Jordan. And there's just, like, a shadow that starts walking into the uh, locker rooms. And you're thinking to yourself, like, Holy shit, this is the pot that, that you're waiting for. It's goddamn LeBron meets michael jordan in a space jam movie this is gonna be fun uh but it's the other michael jordan michael b jordan from yeah. black panther yeah and i laughed <laughs> so hard so hard i laughed because lebron <laughs> is like you can't do anything for me here and michael b jordan's just like yeah but good luck though <laughs> he just dips i'm like this is great yeah it was good it was good it was funny it was funny it was good it was it had everything that i needed I didn't watch Space Jam New Legacy because I expected it to be a four star movie. I right. I, I, I watched it because be. exactly. You know, you you know what you're that's getting what I mean. for. People people just want to bitch, you know, yeah. that's all it is. And that's I like everything. You remember you remember when you used to like if you went to a restaurant and you had a bad experience and you like went to the manager or you wrote a letter to the owner or something like something would actually change. Like they'd be yeah. like, Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll talk to them. We'll fix that. Here's the, your meals free. Now it's like <laughs> you, you complain and they're like, yeah, good for you. Go fuck yourself. No <laughs> exactly. <one cares. laughs> it's so fucked up, man. I just don't get it. They're like, we know we suck. We don't care. You have no other choice. You're well, exactly. Like you, didn't, you didn't go watch in Space Jam because you expected this Lord of the Rings movie. Get out of here. <laughs> That's why I love it, man. Uh, uh, that's uh, everybody was complaining about the new Ghostbusters movie when they came out with that, and it's like honestly, it really wasn't that bad. I don't know why everybody was complaining. I like was just, that movie. What's that? I like that movie. I thought it was a funny movie. Yeah. The fucking blonde chick from SNL. And oh, she's so funny. Edward. Goddamn Hemsworth was dude. so I, fucking hilarious. Yeah. I laughed my ass off the whole time. I was so funny. So goddamn funny. I was laughing. It was just like, man. Yeah. The entire what's time. Her, what's her name? Like, even uh, Melissa, like, kind of took a back seat, honestly, because. It's compared just, to, like, Kristen Wiig and the other ones. Funny. Yeah, absolutely. I thought, yeah. I thought so, too. <laughs> I thought Kate McKinnon was just fucking excellent for that movie. Uh, uh, I thought yeah, that Kate she McKinnon, just. Yeah. 
she yeah, just did she a great job hilarious. of being the like the the cool one to, to, per se i guess uh, <laughs> yeah the awkward cool guy oh the, the the nerd that thinks he's the all that is you know, <laughs> that's cool <laughs> that's what i wanted and like yeah man the jokes were funny and they were like landing i don't but then i but then i went to work the next day after like after watching this great movie uh uh the new ghostbusters and then uh and goddamn uh uh my boss comes up to me and i'm like yeah hey, you seen new ghostbusters yet he's like no nah, i hear it sucks and i'm like oh, all right well that's <laughs> like have you seen it he's like no dude uh, okay I, so I was literally i really I hate when people do that sketch today uh-huh. i was literally watching a comedy sketch today that was like people are you know this is a true fact um if you hear something three times you'll believe it and then he was like it's a fact if you hear something three times you'll believe it and then he said it again and he was like do you believe it <laughs> and he was like because he had said it three times but like it's literally true that if enough people say it's shit you'll just believe that you'll it's just shit believe it's shit. you won't even bother to watch it opinion. that is so yeah. fucking wild to me <laughs> And don't get me wrong, this isn't like stuff that I, uh, hey, John, how's, how's sex? Because I know you're great at it. So it's just like, I'm not, I'm not going for an, to an expertise to, 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 to figure out if the new Ghostbusters is going to be good. You know, like, right. no, none of us are doing that. I want to, I go see movies for an escapism. Uh, it's not, I don't, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Fucking weird, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm very surprised uh, here i was thinking that uh at least stan who told me he would be at this here bar uh yeah, he usually shows up around like 11 11 11 30 absolutely <laughs> he's definitely running running behind i think it's i think it's nuts because like i was just in the studio with him earlier on and he was like Oh, hell yeah, I'll be at that cyber bar. You know, we were having a cyber bar conversation. <laughs> I'm sure he will. I mean, it just, you know. He's he's a dad and he's got to go do stuff. I get it. <laughs> I'm surprised Justin hasn't been here for two weeks. That's kind of weird. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm not uh, too surprised. I honestly, I, I don't expect anybody to be showing up for the rest of the season. So I just... <laughs> That's why we're getting rid of the cyber bar because nobody cares. Well, they, I think they definitely will, like towards the end, and then. It'll I mean, I, I can, I, I won't <laughs> hold my breath. That's, that's all I'm saying. Because yeah. yeah. uh, uh, I've given the, uh, the links to Evan and Drury and Grant and Terry and all these other people, like so many times, uh, yeah. with just like absolutely nobody responding to it. Not that I have a problem with it. I would, you know, well, if Friday honestly, night came dude, like, and there was nobody here, then I would just shut it down after 11 and be done with it. But honestly, I know a lot of those more normal people uh, would do like, a, that's kind of why we used to start it earlier. Mm-hmm. And then we started doing it later for Justin because Justin had to like put the kids to bed and shit. Sure. But then, you know, Justin doesn't really show up then but it I know just fact, spiraled like, down into yeah yeah like nick and josh shockey and like grant and like a few of those are like you know it's super late they're already oh absolutely yeah uh, it's you know in. it is what it is uh yeah. i can't win them all and uh yeah. i don't I, and and i'd be a fool for trying yeah so yeah I, I guess it is what it is uh but uh, i'm glad that uh from season one to season four uh here we are uh, drink time, everybody. What are you sipping on tonight? I don't know, just vodka. Just vodka? Yeah. I've got this. Um, so I told you I um I went out and got the uh. The vodka from Sam's Club, or not Sam's Club, from Costco, and uh, and it was a big fucking bottle. I mean, like a fucking massive bottle. The shit's so big it couldn't fit in my liquor cabinet. And so um, so I'm 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 going through it, and I picked up this uh, Mountain Dew called Baja Fever. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's fucking pina colada mix. It's yeah. it's goddamn pina colada mix, little a splash of Mountain Dew. Um, 
so I uh, that's what I've got is a is a mixed pina colada Mountain Dew with uh, with vodka. So it's treatment good. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. All right. Holy shit. Oh wow! Hey, all right. Did we just get back at the same time? Huh? <clears throat> there we go. Um, yeah. So that's when I told him, uh, uh, um, wrecked him, damn near killed him. Wrecked a motherfucker right here. <clears throat> What'd you say, John? I said this motherfucker right here. And I hate to cut you off, but I think I see somebody else coming to my door. John, Bell, could you please go ahead and get that? Good evening to you, bastards. Oh, it's sad, everybody! Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. You wanna go where everybody knows your name. That's me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, come to our next to the sidebar. New York Times bestselling author of the book, uh, One is the Loneliest Number. It's Stan, everybody. <laughs> I am a sad, sad man. Well, this novella is based off of uh, uh, a you sad know. person you knew. So. Maria. Por que? Maria. Por que Maria? Por que? Fernando, este mi amigo. Fernando. <laughs> este cuche cuche. <laughs> chaka chaka. <laughs> Por que? Por que Maria? <laughs> Breathy of you. It's, uh, well, you know, it's a novella. So. <laughs> oh, no. John, did you paint all those? <laughs> he's been he's been having a, a bit of a Bob Ross streak in his in his spare time. That's really like, weird because I was like literally I'm literally looking at this post art. I saw that has a bunch of like yeah like really cool like all the <laughs> comic characters. You've refined him. Look at you. <laughs> Stan, you've turned him into an outstanding gentleman who appreciates fine art and, and eats caviar and shit. <laughs> I'm the one who has the art. What are you talking about? <laughs> See, you, you know, you, you like fine art and caviar. I have always liked those things. You like caviar? You like caviar? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yuck. I don't know the yeah. idea. I, I think for, for me, it's a, it's the, it's the idea that like they're fish eggs. I think the, the very idea that I'm eating fish eggs kind of gives me a, a gross out. You know, right? I've never tasted caviar. I'm sure it's delicious if it's very good, but I feel like I don't know. Is it a salty type of a? What's the yeah, mouth kind of. like? Is it like a? I I, a... I I hear it's like boba tea. <laughs> boba tea. And that's no. gross. I don't, know. I don't like. I don't like boba. I'm I'm not no. a big fan of the boba tea. That's yeah. Like but that's, it's not for me. I don't it's want a like surprise a... of something solid in my. Yeah, throat. I don't want dipping dots in my in my slurpee. That doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> Actually, that it's does like sound a, good. It's like a salty butter type thing. That's why it goes really good on crackers and shit. Okay. Now he says but salty butter, different. and I'm thinking like, mmm, that's that good Irish butter that I've. Mmm. <laughs> Ah, 
awkward silence. That's not the right. That wasn't the right sound effect. <laughs> Nice, uh, like a little turnaround. That was pretty Got good, right? To, uh... <laughs> we'll be right back.